What's going on with you guys? You know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike. Uh, and today I'm going to be throwing uh, something at you. I'm always throwing something at you, right? But today we're going to be looking at the complete uh, Control S61 Mark II. Big, long name. Maybe we should start calling it the KKSM2. Something like that. I don't know. That's stupid. Anyway, let's keep it going. Uh, today I want to kind of show you guys a little bit around how this uh, new controller interacts with the uh, complete control software and how this kind of works or whatever for those who just might be interested. So of course, everything kind of centers around these two big screens or what have you, and everything kind of happens in this area. So, um, you know, in, in the, the software responds accordingly to what you're seeing. So if like, I want to kind of move through the different, um, the different libraries I have, I can start kind of turning this knob and as you can see in the complete control software, it kind of adjusts to whatever I'm moving through here. If I want to just kind of see everything, I can just kind of move all the way up and now you see all instruments. Uh, but uh, as I move here, as you notice, if I move to like Abbey Rhodes or what have you, uh, this drummer, you can see that Abbey Rhodes is showed here as well as long along with all of the patches that kind of coordinate all in this area right here as well so everything that i'm seeing in complete control is going to be represented in these two screens right here what have you now what's also cool is is that i can break down into categories so i could hit drums and percussion and i just get all of my drums uh sounds here i can go sampled instruments and i get just all my sampled uh, instruments that I have loaded in synthesizers and you get stuff like absinthe and diva and flesh and different other things that I have installed so it's pretty pretty cool then you can break it down into products uh, you know and you can go into the well, that's where I got that where I scroll through that you can uh, break it down in when you get into products you can break it down into your different banks inside of those products so that's pretty cool that was the knob i was looking for so uh you can also bring up your user you know if you have any user installed libraries or you can bring up your favorites just that way so it's pretty cool uh, how you can kind of jump in there but with on this secondary screen uh you can also use it to kind of look through your sounds and see what it is that you're looking for find the type of sound that you're looking for really quickly so i can break down into types and let's say I'm looking for a bass, I can go bass. Then if I'm looking for a subtype, I can do an analog bass or a bass line, a digital bass, or I could do uh, like a fingered bass. If I'm just like looking for a regular kind of fingered bass sound or what have you. Now that I got, it shows me here that I have 38 results, probably hard to see on that little screen, but 38, res 38 results and I can start moving through them. And because of the way the new software and the new update is, I can scroll through uh, each uh, individual sound and listen to it without even having to load it up. So it's not even being loaded up yet into the software, but I can listen to it. So let's say I like that one, then I can load it in, you know, and I can hit load and it'll do a little busy thing. And as you'll see inside of the complete control software, it will load up that plugin here. So now I have that loaded up. You know, and I got that and I can play that and add that into my tracks or what have you. Then I have all of my other, once I've loaded it in, I have my plugin options here that I can use and kind of tweak that with my effects and my distortion maybe or my drive I can fool around with that uh, noise you know I can go here and do my uh, I guess this is I'm not sure what that is in this particular instrument maybe it's a repeat maybe something quantization or something uh, noise tone you can control all of those things inside of the plugin right there or what have you and if I want to go back 
you know, I can hit the search and get back in here and I can actually start looking for another sound. But say if I like that sound and I want to keep it in my favorites for, for later reference to be able to go back and find that sound really quickly, I can set favorite here and it puts a little asterisk on that sound so I can recall it up real quickly. So now if I go over here and I hit my favorites, you know, it shows up over here that I have that sound loaded up into my favorites or what have you in that group. So that's pretty cool uh, stuff to kind of have set up there to be able to do it. And that's pretty much how you get around the software using that. It's not really much, you know, those of you, there's a ton of tutorials on complete control. Uh, it's not really much more to it. It's just an easy way of organizing your sounds and keeping things in order. It's a great patch browser and it allows you to, especially now with this, in these two big screens, you can have, and the DAW controls that are coming in, in with some DAWs and also with already integrated into some like Logic and Ableton, you can actually record and work all inside of your software without even having to look at the computer because everything's right here on this screen. So it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, and that's all I wanted to kind of show you guys today. Hope this helped you. Hope this blessed you. You know how we do. Hit all those buttons that do stuff on the videos. The like button. The share button. Please comment. And please take a time and a second and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. All right, folks. That's it for today. I'll talk to you guys on the next stream. I'm out. Holla at your boy.